So I was asked about my two uh, top advice, pieces of advice for a Danish company going into the US market looking for a distributor. And first and foremost, my, my advice number one would be to not let the fact that you meet a certain distributor decide be the deciding factor in going with that distributor. Really, rather than looking at who you know, look at what are your needs. Find out if you need um, distribution in a particular region, if you need distribution within a particular segment of the market. Define, first of all, what are your needs. And once you've defined those needs, then you decide which distributor to go with. You identify the distributor that can really cover that market and do it right for you. My second piece of advice uh, is that a lot of U.S. distributors, probably all of them, will ask for full exclusivity for the U.S. In some cases, they'll ask for full exclusivity of, for North America, which means the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. Now, many of them are actually not able to serve that full market. So think in terms of limiting that market in different ways. One is geographic. So um, you may just want to give them a particular region of the U.S. In some case, even you know, just a few states, it varies. It depends on what they can cover. The other part is to uh, think of the market segment you give them. You may allocate, say, to one distributor that they can cover the supermarkets or that an, another company can cover the pharmacies or that they can cover the restaurant industry. It depends on what particular product you're selling, but think in terms of the segments. And then finally, also you may be in a situation where you could uh, limit what use they have exclusivity of. So for instance, certain products uh, may be used both in the food, the cosmetics, and the pharma industry. And you may divide them up that way and, and appoint a distributor for pharmaceutical use only or for food use only, but not for cosmetic use. Um, so think of your needs and then make the decision after that.